Hey, hello everybody. Here's a couple more paintings I wanted to show you. Uh, this, this is actually a photograph, this right here. What happened was, I was at a friend's house, and he had this uh, photograph hanging on the wall, and I was staring at it and uh, for a couple minutes, and he said, hey, why don't you paint that? And, you know, I kind of laughed. I was like, yeah, right, you know. I mean, this was 20-some years ago, 22, 23 years ago, and uh, I really didn't feel much like painting back then, but anyway... Uh, you know, his wife, his wife was in agreement with him. She, she said, yeah, why don't you paint that? All right. So anyway, I came home that night and here's what happened. Okay. So I did paint it and, um, I brought it to his house the next day and I'll tell you the truth. It, it really surprised me. It freaked me out because, you know, I didn't, my abilities, I, I, I didn't have, I had no confidence at all in my abilities, and it came out the way it did, and I was, I was surprised, you know, I kind of liked it, so anyway, uh, oh, by the way, I painted this whole thing from memory, uh, I didn't bring the photograph home, you know, I just, just from memory, I painted it, and, uh, those two were uh, astonished, that I was able to get so much of the, you know, so much of the photograph correct. You know what I mean? Like that little boat on the left. Um, uh, it's, it's, that little boat is actually in the photograph. Uh, <laughs> the chair on the porch is in the photograph. Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think it came out okay. Uh, oh, this is a, this is a, uh, a river up in North Florida. It's called, uh, Homo Sassa. And the guy, you know, his, one of his favorite places was that bait house. They used to, I don't know, I guess they used to hang out there and drink beer and stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, well, anyway, uh, he's dead now. And so is his wife. So I ended up with the photograph. Uh, you know, I showed them the painting and, you know, they told their son that, you know, to give me the photograph if anything ever happened to Al. Al was the guy's name. And uh, I ended up with the photograph, which is kind of cool. Anyway, I like telling the story. <laughs> uh, I think there's a close-up here of, of the... Uh, of the chair on the porch, I think. I don't know. Yeah, here it comes. There you go. Yay. That's, that's, they were really astonished by the fact that I remembered the chair on the porch. <laughs> oh, man, it was so, so funny. But anyway, that was, that was one night. Okay, this one, um, I don't know. I had some people tell me they didn't like it. This was another 23 years ago. You know, I felt like painting after I did that bait house. So I painted this one. Oh, this was on the night of the uh, meteor shower. The per Perseus meteor shower. The one that happens every year. Uh, I forget the name of it. Per something. Uh, but anyway, that was... Uh, I, I remember that the meteors were flying around when uh, when I painted this one. Okay, this is another 23-year-old painting. Uh, wh what this is, this is actually on two boards. And what I did was I took four pieces of wood and I cut them in that angle that you see there. And... There you go. And then I glued the uh, the boards onto... No, I, yeah, I, I glued the paint boards onto those uh, angled boards. And, and I put a fan to... I mean, a belt to a uh, riding lawnmower in between the, the two panels. I don't know why. I just 
thought that it needed to be separated somehow there. So that painting actually doesn't lay flat on the wall. It sticks out a little bit because of that angle. Uh, but again, that was back in the same time that I did the, uh, the bait house and the poppies. All right, here you go. Now this one, uh, you know, I used to go to this biker bar, and uh, this place was rough. It was called the uh, the Largo Knife and Gun Club at one time. You know, they 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 made a joke of it. The cops were there every single night. I mean, there was a fight every single night, and the place was a real dump. Believe it or not, it's still there, but. Uh, it's gotten a little bit better you know a new owner has kind of cleaned it up a little bit but it's still a dump but anyway um, I tried to use the saddest colors that I could you know because these two people they were sad I mean these guys these people were ugh, they were just the worst here she is she's pregnant She's smoking and drinking. Uh, she's got uh, armpit uh, stains, you know, on her sweater or blouse or whatever that thing is. I mean, these these were actually two people that actually went to this bar. Um, uh, you know, of course, they didn't look exactly like this, but they were, you know, two people in there. I mean, it, this the guy looked like he was in outer space. You know, he didn't really care about nothing. Uh, the green and the brown color is just to, uh, you know, I just tried to come up with the with the most unagreeable colors that, you know, you could have. Uh, you know what? I think at one time the place was painted green, that color of green, I think. I don't know. But like I said, the place is a real dump. <laughs> There's nothing else I can say. All right. On this one, I just wanted to do something with an orange sunset. That's all. I mean, there's, I don't, I, you know, I wasn't at a location that looked like this. I just, uh, I just wanted to do something with an orange sunset. And that's what happened right there. This one's not too big. It's only about, uh, I don't know, 14 by 11 or something. It, it's kind of small. And it is acrylic. And as I can see it now, it looks kind of dark. I wish I had a... There we go. A little bit more light on it. Okay, this this here is actually a print. This this isn't uh, painted with brushes or knives. It's it's a print. And what I did was I made a styrofoam uh, relief of this fish, and then I ended up making a silicone mold of the fish or latex. Uh, yeah, I think it was latex. And then I poured in concrete, and when it was dry, I flipped the fish out of the mold and now I can make hundreds of these things all I have to do now is I paint this the concrete fish and then put a piece of cloth on top of it uh, you know push down on the cloth so everything touches the paint and then peel off the cloth and boom there you go you have it uh, that one's actually pretty big that's about 20 20 inches I'd say by about 16 I think Maybe, 
maybe 24 by 16. I don't know. It's pretty big. It's a coelacanth. Uh, it's, a, it's a prehistoric fish that they thought were extinct, but they ended up finding a whole bunch of them. Um, I mean, they thought these things died out like 65 million years ago, and, and they were wrong. Uh, uh, so, uh, if you want to, look it up. Coelacanth. It's C... Uh, C-E-L something. Coelacanth. T-H at the end. All right, everybody. It's late. And I got to go. I got to eat. See ya. Phone's ringing.